with my Japan Foundation Fellowship, I call my project How I Gained 100 Grandmas. My book examines the approximately 180 to Japanese women who received U.S. Army fellowships. These are Garioa or uh, fellowships that were sponsored by Japan's war debt to go to the universities and graduate schools in the United States between 1949 and 1952. But the main project was for them to spend a year in the United States learning American democracy. I met with several Japanese women uh, in restaurants, in cafes, over walks in the city, and especially in their homes, and discussed their experiences studying abroad and, and how it affected their lives. When I went to Japan, I expected to find six women, and I was able to interview about 35. Another thing Japan Foundation made possible is my research relies on strange materials, and I'll show you a treasure. This is a guidebook written by the class of 1951 for future students who are going to Japan. It's in Japanese and the students provide for each other the so-called real information they didn't get in their official orientations, like how to date and the gift-giving culture in America. But there's also a very interesting discussion among the students. They don't call it this, but ideas of discrimination and racism and what to expect. So I'm grateful to the Japan Foundation for allowing me to meet with these elderly women and to establish strong friendships with them. One of the things that the Japan Foundation Fellowship allowed for was access to, you know, texts that would have been impossible to find elsewhere. Having access to the Waseda Library, the National Diet Library, the National Film Archive, all of the used bookstores and uh, cinemas throughout Tokyo, strange texts, things like the Journal of Japanese Forestry, right, the Journal of Japanese Botany, alongside more obscure, the Japanese Psychic Science Association. All these texts were very easy to find uh, with that sort of network of libraries and bookstores that were available to me. Being at Waseda University, I also was able to form a kind of network uh, with other researchers there at the time, discuss my own research, get different ideas, feedback on what I was doing. My research, as I mentioned, is really invested in thinking about the environment. And so it was really important for me to physically go to many of the places that appeared in the text that I was um, writing about and researching. One of those places was Ogasawara, right, which is this very remote uh, chain of islands south of Tokyo. And the only way to get there is to take a ferry which takes 24 hours each way. Having the support of the fellowship for such a long period of time allowed me to make a trip like that that I wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. I was a grantee in 1978, 79, and it was really the foundation of my scholarly work and in fact of my life in Japan since then. I went to Japan that year with two small children. My husband came and went and so I had the family. I had all the help in the world from the officers of the Japan Foundation. I was working on the history of Meiji ideology and I spent, like most historians, my time in the archives, particularly in the Meiji Shimbun Zashi Bunko, where I could read all those incredible old newspapers and magazines in the original. I can still smell the musty odor of that, that old Meiji paper. But the highlight for me of the Japan Foundation year was, I think as for many others, the people that I got to meet. I met so many historians. I went out of my way to meet them. I still work with, with many of them. Some of them are in their 80s and 90s, but it was the human connections that were made. So the Japan Foundation has done an enormous service because it's only by going to Japan, I believe, doing your work there and meeting all these people and living with them and working with them that you really understand Japan. It's sometimes said that learning a new language, you gain a new soul. Well, going to Japan and spending that amount of time there and repeatedly doing that, you certainly do gain a whole new cosmos and maybe even a little part of a new soul.